you know, most people that I, that I know start off with a 12C mouthpiece, ultimately mm -hmm. graduate to a 6.5 AL, sure, sure. but most people don't know where to go from there. What, yeah. what, are, what are some suggestions that you've seen that have, have worked or maybe what's worked for you? Well, it depends. It depends on a lot. It depends on, you know, your physique. It depends on the instrument that you have. Uh, for my trombone players, I recommend a 5G for most players. You know, the, the, the super pros who know their body and who know the tech really well can you can venture out without without too much fear but for a trombone I usually the 5G is a good way to go for euphoniums I uh, recommend a 51D from Shilke sure that has a deep cup it makes it especially good for euphonium playing getting that warm rich tone and it's just a good all-around mouthpiece I know players who bought one in eighth grade and have played it all up through <laughs> up to playing with the with the United States Navy, Navy Band. Well, one of the things I like about that 51D also is because of the comfort of the rim too. You know, mm -hmm. that Shilke, mm -hmm. Shilke provides yeah. a little bit different design. It's a, it's a soft rim. It makes it very easy on the lips and you don't burn out quite as fast. Sure. Mm -hmm. How how soon do you think someone could graduate to that? I mean, could that be a, a mouthpiece that you, you maybe jump in even after your second year or is that too quick? Yeah, as early as seventh grade you could find success on this mouthpiece, but it does depend. If you're, um, if your lips are especially thin or if you are, you know, a little smaller, you might not find. I've, I've had sixth graders that I've had to move off of the mouthpiece. Uh, their band director put them on the mouthpiece because they heard it was good and they just weren't ready for it yet. So I recommend in that case a 5G will work or a 6.5 AL is pretty good, especially in your beginning years. It really, it all depends on what your private teacher says. Sure, sure. You know, so if you don't have a private teacher, you should probably get one. 